Hi, and welcome to My Athens TV. So, what is it like in Athens? It's a simple question, but for anyone thinking of traveling to the city for the first time, it's an important one. We talked to a group of American students staying in Athens to find out what they thought of the historical city. My first few days in Athens were about a million times better than I could have ever imagined. Uh, they're breathtaking to say the least. Lots of good food, lots of good wine, lots of good sights, lots of good people. I was just kind of amazed at how big it was. These are a few of about 90 American students who are living and studying in a neighborhood called Pangradi in Athens. Students talked about what they thought Athens would be like coming in and how the city lived up to their expectations. It's, it's really different to anywhere that I've been, so I, I really, really like it. I did not know what to expect. Karini says what surprised her most about Athens is how kind the people were. They were very willing to help. I don't know, it's, it's very... It's moving. I, I like lived in New York City, so you don't see that often. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we near the end of February and get closer to spring, students say they were surprised by the unpredictable weather. The weather was not what I was expecting. It was like snowing our first week. I did not bring the appropriate clothing. I was really surprised by how cold it was. I kind of didn't prepare for it or the rain. While the weather isn't always easy to predict, one aspect of Athens you can always count on is the mixture of ancient and modern structures almost everywhere you look. I like the mix of ancient and new. Uh, that, uh, that together just made it just a phenomenal place to walk around and see everything and you know you're sitting at a cafe you can look up at the Acropolis and nowhere else in the world you can have that experience. So. At a time when Greece is facing a major financial crisis, protests take place just 10 minutes away from Pangrati on a regular basis, but students say they've been largely unaffected by it. I mean I didn't expect it to be um, like as much or as little strife as there is. Like, I thought that the whole city would have had more, more tension because of the political and economic situation, but it seems like there's, it's, there's only little pockets of that, and then the rest of the city seems to be living normal human lives. I was kind of surprised at how much graffiti there was, and I was, it kind of defaced so many buildings. I was surprised at how good the wine was. It was, it was really good. <laughs> The fact that there's cinnamon in everything, like who puts cinnamon on pasta sauce and on meat? Like, Of course, one of the biggest things students say they had to get used to was the Greek language. Although most people in the country do speak English, students say they're still finding it a challenge to communicate with locals. Language, not knowing language is really difficult in trying to like converse with people and then like the general like culture of the town is just not something I'm used to. Whatever you think about Athens, one student had some advice on how to get the best out of your experience when you visit. My advice would be to open, open your mind up to new experiences and don't try to quantify things as either good or bad. Just, you know, observe how different they are and how you feel about certain things. And just let yourself be like, free to experience everything that you want to. Well, that's all for now. You can search our web TV or look us up on Facebook to learn more about Athens. Thanks for watching.